Can you hear me? Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, still can't see you. No, Babylon, man. Babylon don't want me to talk. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what is going on? Hold on. All right, let me... Um, I'm not... Is nobody else logged in on your end? Can you hear me? I know you can. Yo, there we go. We're back. There we go. What happened again? What was that? I have no idea, bro, but I'm outside. <laughs> okay. It seems to be working. Yeah. So everyone's coming back. Okay. Can everybody hear us? Just, just yeah. hear us. Just please say yeah if you can hear us. Yeah, I think all right. Gino said yes, yeah, she can hear. Just want to make sure everybody can hear us. Okay. All right, I'm guessing everybody can hear us, so yeah, let's yeah. go back again. So yeah, sorry, just touching on your previous point, we're mentioning, you know, about a bit about your origins and your upbringing and your experiences. Yeah, so um, it was learning. So yeah, sorry, as you were, man. Yeah, so grew up in uh, with my mum, age up to age of four. Uh, she was raped, and we just had mad issues within. The, and I remember these things, yeah, in front of our eyes. And then um, she was stabbed in the eyebrow. And then we was taken into care, going into nursery. And then they lied to us. So I remember them saying, you know, uh, you're going to see your mom. She's sick. And I was like, nah, I know what happened. Do you know what I mean? Then went into care, uh, different whole, a whole different family, um, different ethnic, ethnicity, all that kind of stuff. And she was, um, they was abusive to us. They was worse than my mom. They locked us in cellars, peed on us. We wouldn't eat at the same table. Yeah, some, yeah, some madness. We wouldn't be able to sit on the same sofa as them. Uh, just all sorts of mental conditioning. But when I when I reflect back on it, I'm like, hmm, those things served me because now I wouldn't have the strength. I wouldn't have the warrior spirit that I have because of those things. And it made me know, like, yeah. I was already being trained. As as tough as that sound and as messed up as it sounds, to be beaten. Like we was four, four to nine years old. And then after that, we had um, some incredible Trinidadian lady who changed my whole experience, um, gave us love. We learned oh, nurturing love through her. Um, and she, well, she's still family to this day. And um, from that, I just learned the gift of love. And I just thought, wow, I want to give this out as well. I've received it. And, you know, this is beautiful. But throughout that, we had different traumatic experiences. So, you know, seeing your mum still seeing your mum going through her own trauma, her um, then like being stabbed myself, then seeing my mum uh, dead. So she was dead. Uh, she had jumped off a roof, tried to commit suicide and seeing her being revived in my eyes, which was a powerful experience because it made me know about, you don't have time to, to, to worry about, you know, what ifs and all this stuff. You've got time about now, you know, being in now. And then having a friend commit suicide really, um, vividly kind of made me think wow I'm, I'm basically near him in the sense of I'm putting on this mask to the world but deep down it's like I'm feeling like crap and then having friends killed having a few friends that I know killed um, just made me start looking at life made me start looking at blaming myself and then eventually through helping a friend um, or trying to help a friend who was in a suicidal place I started working on myself. So I was like, rah, we went to like a little empowerment seminar. I was like, yeah, man, this is for you, man. And then I realized during the process, it was like, ah, this is actually for me. <laughs> Cause I was trying, I was always deflecting from myself. And so that was the key is that all of this stuff, like right now I'm in the mode of like, remove your mask. Let's have an authentic conversation. Let's be yeah. real. Let's, let's be, Hey, I'm okay today. Hey, I'm not okay today. Let's talk yeah. about that. Let's talk about, let's have difficult conversations. Let's talk about racism, but in a loving way that is not, you know, um, detrimental to our, the future of our kids because I'm mixed race. I'm half black, half white. I don't know where I fit in this stuff. So all I know is that I've got black family and I've got white family and I love them both. So 
I want to be able to move the world forward. Do you know what I mean? But there are there has to have we have to have some difficult conversations, like white people or, or white supremacists or whatever it is. You've messed up. Now it's time to to do what you need to do in terms of to give people back their reparations or their space to grow again. Or because some of our our traumas come not from our parents has been ancestral and that's still relevant to now but obviously that's hard to map that's hard to really get into but yeah so in my in my journey I've just been on a I used to think it was about acquiring an ego and trying to be better than and to win and then I quickly learned like obviously life humbles you and you start to learn mm, it's more about being a student and learning and discovering and, and unlearning and then relearning and and just kind of sharing what you learn on the on the journey and having those authentic connections. Because when people leave you, I always think, what what's left? And all you've got is a memory and a spirit. And so why are we so focused on all these things and being important and job roles and titles? It, none of it makes any sense. Ultimately, when you're, in hindsight, none of it matters at all. None nah, none of it. And then <laughs> look at COVID. COVID has just wiped out loads of things and people are lost because they have to have some time with themselves and it's like yeah that's what this is about baby it's about you being able to reconnect with yourself How? and it can be a gift or a curse depending on you you know what your strength is on um, uh, you know it's astounding because for me i could definitely say you have more strength than i could in those situations and i guess mm. how were you able to not go down such a bad path when it was so easy so easy yeah to do so? i think just being in certain places at certain times so for instance, I've made, I've had certain fights where guys could have died, and that's a choice. And it did. The difference was there wasn't police there when I had a fight. Do you know what I mean, or whatever it is? So I guess it's just making choices. And for me, I've always, I've never been a sheep, never. I've always been able to think with my own mind. I've always been a, a bit of a leader. Like I can lead a pack. You know, if I, if you send me into them, I, I'll come out leading because, although I just don't have the fear. And that fear has not come from because I don't I like I'm some bad guy, but it's just been more because of my trauma. I'm all, I already I already recognise this this danger, so I'm not scared of it. Yeah. Whereas other people, they're trying to to people understand fear that they, know. That's human it's not, you feel There you go. So it's an act, and then I can see through the act. I can see if you're authentic or not, and that's been the gift. Is that my I've been wired to know if you're trying to cause me any more trauma. That's been that's my brain. It's wired like that now. Through trauma, I've been like, hmm, are you authentic? I want to see your heart. I want to see your spirit. Before, you either, before I even meet you, I'm already analysing. Then when I, when I actually meet you and it confirms, it's like, ah, okay, you're cool. You, <laughs> you there's, a, there's a few processes that go through your head first. Yeah, you, you just, you're like a meerkat. You're just looking for danger. But yeah. um, that's useful in terms of like meeting someone who's authentic or working with young people and, and knowing they're not okay. You know when they say they're okay and you're like, Oh, yeah, something's exactly. not okay and let's talk about it let's give you the space to be yourself no judgment you know it is what it is and then there's a beautiful conversation that can lead from that so yeah man um i think go through the ups and downs i think um what's been powerful is is you know building that character you know that resilience character in a sense um and just recognizing the hero in myself and knowing that you know, I'm I'm not here just for me. I'm here for us. And and when you start to work more on yourself and discover, like, whoa, this is amazing. Like, you know, these little discoveries you make about things, and you're just like, oh, I want to share it. And then seeing people free themselves, I get so much joy of that. Just seeing people find themselves or giving space for people to have a powerful, meaningful conversation. So, just to give you an example. We went to um, Czech Republic, and we did um, uh, a self love session with people that couldn't even speak English. And by the end of the session, they were all crying. And we was, I was crying too. And I was like, whoa, how beautiful would it be for people to see this? But not just on through a camera, but in real life, like to be able to experience like men and women crying in the same room and adults and children crying because they're like, wow, I wish I could have felt this love with my partner or my childhood. And so for me, this has just been a gateway to, to my authentic self. And I'm still on the journey. I, I don't know nothing to be fair like i see myself like a nan it's like you know we're we're so insignificant in the universe but significant within our own energy 
So yeah, it's like, you could compare it like and nothing and everything. It's like a contradiction, do you know? <laughs> you could compare your one life, the time on Earth. If you compare it to all the time, the motions, the there relativity you go. of Earth. Your life is a speck. Eight years or whatever, however long the human life is, it's a speck. <laughs> it's like, it's like, the greatest right there. <laughs> it's that, mate. So, no, there's a lot of power in what you're saying. And I guess, mm. you know, in regards to how, how has, you know, being with everything served you in, in working life, I guess? Yeah. Um. So, like the lack of fear has has filtered out into my work life so i don't have fear of like titles arenas so i've i've met like obama i've gone to buckingham palace i've um you know gone around the world doing different things i'm like currently meeting with different corporate companies that people are scared to meet with and that's just because i don't have the fear because i just don't see it I, I see it like well i'm alive so what do i have to fear i've got another day there's other people that are probably just like me bleed the same so um and also it like because i've been given the gift of love in such a powerful way or i've recognized it in a powerful way i'm able to be like that model that you could say you know what he why is he's just so real he's able to say you know what today's a crap day today but he carries on and it's like i give people permission unconsciously to do the same so i guess doing that work um has just led me on like the, the other thing I used to do was um, hold on to control a lot. Like I needed to control this. I needed to control yeah. that. Something and then that, yeah. it's so hard because you start realizing like, that's what's causing you pain sometimes. It's like, oh, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. And it's like, but that's, that's not the plan. The plan is deeper than that. And sometimes it's meant to go wrong for it to go right. So you're like, ah, oh, man, it just doesn't feel good. But now that I've let go of control a bit more, I'm a bit more free in a sense of like, I'm flowing. So I'm allowing, you know, the spirit just to see, be like, you know what, this is this is the way. I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm going to roll with it. So I don't have the same fear. So it means that I can show up in my light a bit stronger in a yeah. sense of like, if I, I can go into a room, it doesn't matter if you've got gangsters in front of me, politicians, who, it doesn't matter who it is, put me in that room and I'll come with my cap on and I'll still be the same. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. still, because... Like, I love to see people look at me and think, oh, what the hell is this guy going to say? And then I come out with the love and they're like, whoa. And then what I do is I, I love to hold space for people to, to be themselves. So I do a bit of me, but then I'm like, okay, you've heard about me. Now it's about us. Like, boom, let's open up this, this arena for us to have a conversation. You to meet your authentic self. You to take off your mask. You to feel more happy about who you really are. Like that kind of stuff. So... I love that. I love creating space for facilitation, as I call it. So where we facilitate space for you to grow in yourself. So you plant seeds in each other. You plant a seed in me and I, I plant a seed in you, whatever it is. But there's an exchange and the energy exchange is, is a beautiful one. So how I've got to the mayor's office has been completely on that, that they know that I bring energy. Purely authenticity. That's it. <laughs> Basically, I did a, an intention thing this year. So... Last year, I did a horse therapy course where basically I, me and three other black guys, we went to um, this lady, black lady in Gloucestershire who has horses. Big up um, the horses, them. Come on, horses, them. Come on. Yeah. Vauxhall Park, in the younger days. Horses, horses like, if you lot need to know, I'll, I'll definitely put you in touch. Maxine, she's got three <laughs> horses. She calls him her boy. She's a, she's a black lady with dreads in the middle of Gloucestershire. And three of us, four of us went, me and three of us and our mentor, um, and it was the most powerful thing because you couldn't lie to the horses. They, your, your energy, they just tell you. It, I was in bits and then um, I remember crying and, and like saying I love you to myself. Like, I love you. You know, you are beautiful. You are powerful. And I was just crying. And then the horse was just there. But the whole day I was trying to get close to the horse horse when they become close. And then from that, it introduced me to my real heart. It was like, and Maxime was like, you know, Stay in your heart because your heart is, it moves people, you know, and yeah. that's where your, your magic is at. So I was like, wow. You see yeah, Jay-Z's 444 four, four album. You need to make 555. Five, five. That's what you need. <laughs> you need to make that studio and start making us 555. Five, five. No, I'm jokes aside, but that's, that's really powerful stuff. And it's really important, I feel like, men in particular, where we're not taught to be as expressive, it's important to mm. deal with our own traumas and be open and honest with ourselves and express ourselves in a manner in which you're able to effort, effort, effortlessly say all these things, you know, without any kind of fear or hesitancy. That's, that's yeah. powerful and it's really, really inspiring. And I'm, I'm not surprised why you're, you know, you're at, at the position you are and the things you've been able to do. So, you know, mm. please thank you and continue to kind of shine your light 
on the board you, and the current topics at heart. You know, so it's important, these things, especially now where we've all been stuck in quarantine and our, I guess for us, our minds are very much now like we've had to really centre and think about ourselves and mm. think deep and we realise how many things distract us from our day to day, like how many things take exactly. away from ourselves. And, it's, and yes. you know, it's, been, it's been a testing time. I'll say this whole period has been testing. So, yeah. no, no, it's really important. And I guess... With you kind of yourself now, and you know, how do you how do you want to kind of see yourself in the next few years in terms of what you're doing now? How how do you still maintain like the plans to lead and yeah. still be authentic and go with that authenticity? How do you how do you maintain that? Well, right. continue continue. The first thing is continue for me is continuing to learn about myself and to learn about what's out there in terms of like you know healing. We need to heal, man. As a community, as individuals, as a world, we need to heal. Um, this in a sense is partly healing, like it's healing the world around us. So, and then re helping us to reconnect with what's important. Food, immunity. I want to, I want to talk about more about how we, you know, create internal immunity. So, you know, okay, there's a virus out there, but if you get the virus, how are you going to fight it? How's your body yeah. going to fight it? So I want to, I want to educate myself and also spread that, what I learn um, with other people around, you know, building immunity. So immunity in the community, as I call it. Um, immunity in a community <laughs> yeah so it has to be and 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 so immunity comes with different elements it comes with you know your mind it comes with you know the people you're around your environment and also what you put in your body your food your fuel um so i want to look at more of that i guess in terms of like the path i don't really have a plan i'm just like let's flow let's let's flow let it go let it go let it flow you got um, a lot of so, seat. Five, five, five needs to hurry up and drop ASAP. We've got a lot of rhymes, <laughs> a lot of times. We need to get in the studio and just start. start yeah, I need to start writing some bars, man. Yeah. You never know. I might come in a picture. So I'm, <laughs> and I want to do a bit more creativity. Um, I feel like creativity is a is a great way to express. So I, I make carnival um, costumes. So I'd love to do get into a bit more of that now, where you can just express and have fun with it. In terms of the violence reduction unit we want to oh they're clapping for uh yeah, 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 yeah. Woo -woo, <laughs> for uh <laughs> <laughs> yay <laughs> uh -huh. so yeah um we got the nhs yeah but in terms of the violence reduction unit it will be about um focusing on reducing violence across the city and increasing opportunities so spilo would definitely be a place where we would want to work with Big up yourself, because obviously what you're sharing is high level and high quality information. I think that's the key. A lot of the young people that we work with, they get like information that's decent, but in terms of high quality information that can give you lot long lasting in impacts and that you can tangibly take away and give to other people, I think that's that's very important. And, and thank you for that. Just so everybody gets the plug, I'm sorry, it's very loud on your end. So yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> But we'll wait for that to stop chatting a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, okay. I think that's all right now. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Pick up the NHS. Cool. Oh, all right. Still going. Sorry, still going. Yeah. I didn't even think about the time, you know. <laughs> Still loud, yeah, so. no, Normally it's about a minute. Dude. This one's been going for a, lot, a, lot, uh, a little bit longer than usual. But you see, like, things like this are beautiful, you know. Bring community. Them up. Yeah, spreading the spirit of, like, appreciation and gratitude. I think that things like this need to be done more. Just to be like, hey, it's another day of life today, man. Transparent the energy, man. Mm. You know, all of that is, is still... Okay, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of noise. Time. A lot nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, no, hey, is that your family members? Are those your, your people doing that? Yeah, yeah, man. We we <laughs> got we got to do this proper, you know. Yeah, is that what we saw your neighbourhood? Sounds like your neighbourhood. <laughs> nice in my house. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the neighbours that's different. Neighbours on the side. Yeah, man. <laughs> they're they're, yeah. they're celebrating still. Yeah, no worries, but. <laughs> You know, just as you said, right, and thank you for the co-sign. For those that don't know, follow us. We are Spielot, um, a social marketplace network. Um, again, community, very community-driven. All about gearing and creating that high-quality content for, for opportunities, mm. things to learn. And you're right, we actually have professional writers and professional people in high-industry levels 
who are mm. contributing their content to our platform. So, you know, to have yeah. you guys on board to be working with you guys, that, that's going to be exciting for us. And By like, the way, this is my first, like, live. <laughs> first, not, you've done a great job. You've done a I'm great not, job. I've not done a live before, so this is my first Thank one. You. So, so, you know, we take prestige in that, you know, knowing that yeah, you're man. the first guy. That's I, mean, speak, on, man. I, I, I don't do these things. Like, I'd rather just be out there doing it. And, like, I've been doing more <laughs> videos because I've been, the feedback's been, you know, you need to do videos because... It's Pretty about good, spreading the word, you know what I mean? But so, you know, you learn, you take it on. I was more attached to the ego side of it. Like, nah, I don't really want to do videos. I don't want people to think I'm, I want to be someone. I'm just me. Yeah. I'm just getting like, information. Same. I used to have that train of thinking until people said, you know, there's a lot of benefit and power to kind of putting your voice out there. And, it's, you know, you don't know who's reading it and what kind of reach you have, may have with someone making yeah. it. It's important. And yeah, and um, you know, I just like to thank you personally for obviously taking part in this as well. And um, no worries. Sorry about the technical issues, man. <laughs> nah, nah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it, baby. It's so so cool. Yeah. It happens, man. Don't worry about it. So you know, with that being said, thank you so much for joining the panel today. Um, it was really yeah. insightful, and it's just really important to, I guess, remind ourselves to be humble that like, this world moves fast, and before mm -hmm. you know it, it's over. So while you're here, yeah, a few periods in life enjoy yourself and just trust me your purpose live your authentic self and it's important you know you've got to, yes. you've got to be honest and real with yourself and even hearing what you've managed to overcome and still be the way you are it's a blessing honestly. yeah because you know, you know I've really, there's a movie that i watched um the way of the peaceful warrior and it, i don't know why it resonated so deeply that there's a few things he's like know that nothing stays the same you know the change always happens it's constant change mm. and um there was another thing which he was talking about so he the guy goes to this mountain takes him to this mountain and there's nothing there. It's like, oh, there's nothing here. He's like, but on the way here, you thought there was and you had a good time and this and that. And he's like, yeah, but there was nothing here. He's like, that's the, he's like, that's the point. We, we all have these goals. And when we get to them, it's like, oh, this is it. But it's the, it's the process of growth that is the beautiful part. Um, so it's the journey, not the destination that brings you joy. So for me, I'm just trying to enjoy the journey now. I'm just like focused on, you know what? It's time to really get into the the journey of life not just looking at destinations and goals and things and all these things that bring us that, that, that into, to, to take up your time that's literally it that's what i'm saying and it's just and it's just surface stuff it's surface it's not a depth and i'm like if i want to meet people at their depths i've got to go to a depth and, and work on my depth so that's what i'm trying to do is meet people at their de depths remove illusions and remove moss and let's just be our authentic selves and grow and allow the future to, to progress in, in a better way. Love that. Well, thank you, man. And mm -hmm. I guess I only have one question for you, really. And what would you, what message would you give to the young people today and how can they hold hope and carry on being the way you are? Anyone that's kind of been in that similar situation to you, how, how, how do we keep hope alive? Yeah. Um, never, like, uh, there's, there's so much I want to say, but like for, the main thing is really like your answers are with you. I've, I think I've said this a, a few times before, but we we get caught in other people's answers and other people's ideas of what we should be um but often you know deep down what you want for yourself and you need to allow that light to shine um so block out crap and take advice you know where where possible but make sure it doesn't dim your light so by you know like listening to other people does it dim your light i mean i've got young people now who their parents don't understand them doing music and it's like well how much do you have passion do you have about it Oh, I love it. Did it didn't help them to understand it? Find a way. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think when you shine your light, as they say, you unconsciously give people the permission to do the same. So the reason why I'm here, where I am, is because I've been shining my light. I haven't. I had those voices of you know the the devil on the shoulders, like why are you doing that, man? Why do you care about people? They don't care about you. You've had all this stuff. You've gone through bare stuff. But then. By listening to my internal voice, I've, I've got to where I, like, I could have been a footballer and I had trials for different um, for football clubs, but for some reason I was drawn more to helping people. Yeah. And so that and that's brought me the reward of now having the understanding of ah, there's a there's a more to just money and like money follows value. So if you don't have a value within yourself, within whatever you put in, then money won't follow anything. So people forget that rich people don't talk about money. They talk about value. What can we do to solve a problem? What value can we bring to something? When we have conversations, you're like, hey, bro, how can I help you? That's a valuable conversation. It's not just you trying to extract from me. And so the mindset has to bring to be what value do you think you can bring to, some, to this world within yourself as, your, as a personal person, 
It could be a product or it could be a problem that you're solving or a service, whatever it is, because that value will then bring you more value. And, you know, yeah. and that's what creates authentic conversations, relationships, um, like, and, and like lack of fear, because you just know your value, you know your value. If someone tries to compromise it, bye, ain't got, ain't got time for you, I know my value. And then people often come back when they know you know your value as well. Yeah, but I, I mean, let you stay far away. Yeah. <laughs> stay far away. Don't give me up for the night. You know, it's true. It's That's true. what I'm saying. So, That's yeah, I guess I, I wouldn't advise anyone um, to do anything because everyone's different, but I would just say be open to discovering and learning about yourself, understand your value, and um, your 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 um, deep intentions are within you, so it's, it's just go to you. And, you know, allow people to teach you along the way, help you grow and nurture what, whatever you want to do within yourself. But if you compromise who you are and your value, it's better. You might, not, might as well be dead. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. And that's, a lovely, and that's a lovely way of ending that because it's powerful, yeah. both, both kind of powerful terms. Thank mm. you, man. I, no, I thank you, bro. I a lot away from that. And thank you so much for being on the panel. Thank you so much for thank sharing your life. And thank you so much for being the, the community neighborhood hero that, you know, this, this place. <laughs> more people like you in this world, man, honestly, it'd be a better place. And it's still a lot to thank learn you, as well. And, you know, we're all, I guess we're all trying to strive to be the best we can and we're going to make mistakes. But I guess as long as you try, that's the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. And, and mistakes are good. You know, they serve us, although it hurts. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're good. Oh, yeah. Although it hurts. <laughs> they hurt. It hurts, hurt, man. It. <laughs> Damn, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, it hurts, but... As long as you take pride in going to being a good person and living by your living by yeah. your choices and living by your right like beliefs, I definitely feel it will be okay. And I've kind of yeah. believed that. And so, you know, long may that continue. Likewise, bro. Keep doing what you're doing as well, man. I love Thank it. You, I, I love love what you're Thank doing. You, and bro. people need to, to get following. If you don't know you. this guy, he's he's got a lot to give to the world, man. Trust me. Big up yourself. Okay. Thank <laughs> Fellow you, hero. Bro. Making me blush. <laughs> Making me blush. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, bro, man. Yeah, please do check us out. Please do follow Speed Art. And again, we're a community platform. We're similar to Reddit and Quora, for those that know it, but mm. we're a lot more social, a lot more community driven. We want the biggest currency is people. We believe the biggest currency is people. Yeah. People build people, people build movements, people build stuff. So mm. communicate and try to collaborate as one community. And there yeah, you go. check out speedart.co.uk. The link is below. And um, yeah, we'll have lots of cool people like Jay. And thank you. <laughs> Rise up. Awesome. Rise up. Rise up and follow. So thank you so much, brother. Um, I hope you have a great evening, and we'll catch up anyway at some point soon. Anyway, and also I sent you the the the, the post with the hyperlinks. All the, <laughs> I know, bro. Post, bro <laughs> just wanted to let you know that. Uh, no yeah, worries, man. Just selfless <laughs> advertisement. So yeah. All right, brother. <laughs> you have a good right, one. Have a great evening. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bless. You. Bless.